The penultimate stop on Arsenal's busy pre-season tour brings them to Western France and Stade Raymond Copper, the home of Ligue 1 club Angers. The Angers head coach, Stéphane Moulin, has selected a predominantly experienced side featuring five 30-somethings, including 36-year-old goalkeeper Ludovic Boutel, Geoffrey Adelaide, who spent three years at Arsenal before heading back to his homeland, plays in midfield. Well, his counterpart Unai Emery has selected a very youthful looking starting lineup which includes five teenagers who've been cutting their teeth during pre-season. The midfield three has an average age of 19, as does the front three. Eddie Nketiah, who scored three goals during their tour of the United States, leads the line. Lovely ball through, El Malali goes around, Martinez! And very neatly gives Angers the lead after 13 minutes. Well, it's a lovely slide rule pass through, isn't it? But there's no information there, it doesn't look like, from Monreal. Zek Medley is not aware of the runner coming across the front of him. It wasn't tight enough there, and now it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Burton immediately put under pressure by Capel. Touches to set Nketia away. It's going to fall for Nelson. Didn't strike it cleanly enough. Yeah, but look at the strength from Nketia there. It's exactly what I was saying, Mike, about him, you know, having a presence about him now. Look, strong, powerful, leaning on defenders. They're falling over. And Ghani with the delivery, and it's flicked to the back post, and in the end, converted by Pavlovic, but disallowed immediately. It's got to be from an offside coming in at the far post. It's a lovely delivery. Nelson with a driven corner, flicked on by Callum Chambers. Mustafi picks up the pieces on the near side. And again, flicked towards the back post. Decent effort. Running across the line there, Martinelli. It's, it's not the greatest ball from Mustafi, but he makes something of it. Drifts in again, free header, Martinez palms it away, but there was an offside. I'd like to say Arsenal are, are confident and a strong hold in that line. It's a close call still, you've got to be right on the money when you do that. Jacka for Guendouzi. Skips away from that last challenge by Aitnori. Cross to that near post. Initially, the effort came in from Eddie Nketiah, but it was Rhys Nelson with the follow-up who brings Arsenal on level terms. Yeah, I was just about to say, Arsenal really struggling for width down this right-hand side, and Guendouzi being asked to do all of that, decides to put the ball in, and it's, it's kind of a loopy one at the near post, gets missed. Nketiah has the first go at it, but it's Rhys Nelson with his third attempt. Two of one blocked, one wide, third one's in the net. Angers back on the front foot, Capel, Aitnouri, laid off to Capel rather neatly by Aliouhi, now is Ren Adelaide on the run, they're not going to aim to challenge him inside the area. In the end, the presence of Mustafi was enough. Yeah, Jeff Ren Adelaide there with great pace, it was good possession, coming in off the flank again, the ball moving quick, just drives through at Arsenal. Now, uh, Ren Adelaide on the run, long, long strides from the former Arsenal midfielder. All the way into the penalty area, still Ren Adelaide. And again, it took Mustafi to bring his progress to a halt. Free kick from Xhaka, met by Aubameyang. No flag, couldn't quite find the finish. El Malali looking to get away, but that was well spotted by Mustafi. And now El Malali is down, and Arsenal attack. Martinelli, and it goes. It's going to fall for Nelson, and an easy finish for Aubameyang, who is offside. 
I don't think Reese Nelson can believe that. That was a great piece of defending as well, wasn't it? But it did go to Obama Yang, who was in an offside position. It's a good break from Arsenal. Now Obama Yang on the run. Martinelli lets it go. Mkhitaryan saved by the goalkeeper, Boutel. Again, I don't think he can quite sort his feet out and get over it. But you'd expect from a player of his quality just to be popping that in the back of the net. No additional time needed from referee Pignot. It's ended Angers 1, Arsenal 1, but we will end the night with a penalty shootout to decide the ultimate winner. So Maitland-Niles against Boutel. Shrill whistles to try and put him off. Oh, calm as you like from a cool customer. Vincent Manceau against Martinez. That one went down well. Joe Willock this time to face Boutel. Went all the way around the ball there to try and <laughs> stop Boutel from anticipating where it was going. And again, very neatly dispatched. This time, an experienced head. He squeezed that one in, and he really did squeeze it in because Boutel went the right way. He puts it in the same spot as Capel did. Uh, whatever. <laughs> they know each other, those two. He was trying to psych him out, it didn't work. And the pressure told, and now Arsenal have a sniff at winning this penalty shootout. Oh, and he puts it in exactly the same place that Kanga just did. Jeff Rain Adelaide has his penalty saved and Arsenal win the shootout it's finished Angers won Arsenal won on the night Arsenal winning the penalty shootout by four goals to three